Hey guys, my name's Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're working in the 2019 and up Ram heavy duty truck. Today I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to do a plug and play electronic trailer brake controller. Now a lot of the trucks, not only the Ram heavy duty, but the Ram 1500s, they did not come standard with this electronic trailer brake controller. Well here at infotainment.com, we carry uh, electronic trailer brake controllers using 100% factory parts and 100% pre-programmed to be plug and play. Um, along with our kit, we include um, a programmer by obdgenie.com. It's the trailer um, brake controller programmer, and it will enable it from the vehicles com on the vehicle's computer just like it would be from the factory. The installation process is very easy using minimal tools, 15, 20 minutes, and you'll have 100% factory electronic trailer brake capability right from the cab of your truck. So let's get started. All right, now the first thing we're gonna do to, do to install this factory kit is we're gonna go ahead and put in our electronic trailer brake control module. Now this module installs just behind the uh, knee bolster here on the right side. There's actually a spot right for it. Um, so included with our kit is our module and the bracket. Um, you're just gonna snap it into the bracket if it's not already snapped in. And then um, we're going to include some hardware. So not only are you gonna get some screws, but you also get some nuts as well. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take this down. I'll kind of show you guys how it, it installs. Now, in order to remove the knee bolster, you can use a dash pry tool, or you can just kind of get your fingers in there and just kind of pull it down. Um, it's just held in with retaining clips at the top. Um, at the bottom are two seven millimeter screws. So you want to get those out. Once you remove those, you can kind of just have it lay down. You don't need to disconnect the um, cables that are in it. Um, basically what we're after is the little brace right here. Here, you'll notice this brace. So you have one nut that we just popped in up on the top. We popped another nut in there on the bottom and another one over there on the right side. So there's a total of three nuts you just need to pop into place. Once you do that, you can slide the bracket in place. You have the bracket with the module put in place. We can go ahead and put our screw in up there, a screw in down here, and then one more on the right side. You'll also notice the wiring. So these two plugs up here, it, the truck is actually pre-wired for this factory module. It's just held back with tape. So all you have to do is take the tape off and you can plug those two connectors right in. All right, we now have the screws in, all three screws. We disconnected or we just took the tape off of this and we just literally just plug this in now. It clips right into place. So that completes the installation part of the module. Um, so now we'll just button up the knee bolster and we'll move to the center stack. All right, the next part of the install, we're going to install the factory trailer brake control switch that goes in right here. So this little part just pops out and this pops in. Um, again, just like the module, this switch plug is actually pre-wired behind here too. It's just wrapped up with tape. So we'll take that tape off and plug it right in. Once we have this out, um, I'll show you the process for that. But then we'll also at that same time, go ahead and install um, our um, gateway module bypass device, and then our OBD Genie programmer. So let's do that now. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is remove this little liner. Now, it doesn't matter if you have the five inch radio, this UAA option code, the 8.4, even the 12 inch radio, the removal of the center stack here is the same on all of them. There's just two seven millimeter screws on the top here, and this whole assembly just pops out of the dash. Thank you. 
Now at this particular point, there's little retaining clips around the perimeter of this whole thing. You can use a dash pry tool or you can use um, just kind of muscle it out. So typically what I'll do is I'll just kind of muscle it out. Start getting it out of place. Once you do that, you just gotta go behind and start disconnecting the connectors. The radio connector, you're gonna wanna press the tab in, slide the lever out, and the radio connector will come out. We're gonna remove these other connectors. And then we could set this aside. Okay, as I mentioned, it's pre-wired, so you notice that this little connector was taped back. This is gonna be the connector for your trailer brake control. So again, this is taped back generally in this area. This will be now used to plug into the new switch. All right, what we're gonna do on the lower part of the center stack here is we're gonna remove this bottom part. Um, there's two T15 Torx screws in the corner here. So we'll go ahead and take those out. Once you do that, you're gonna to wanna to just um, remove this part. As I mentioned, there's two tabs at the bottom. So give it a little bit of pressure. If usually if you press kind of right where that little um, connector is, meanwhile kind of pushing out the tabs, this whole assembly just comes out of place. So now we can pop this out and put in our switch. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this now and we're going to install the switch. So basically, in order to remove it, there's two tabs here and there's two at the bottom that is kind of holding this in place. So you kind of have to fool with it a little bit. Um, I use a flathead screwdriver. You kind of just pry this up on both sides to give you enough room to pop this out. And at the bottom is the same thing. I'll show you here, kind of put it back in. If you here underneath and pry up on it, it'll release those tabs so the bottom comes out as well. But as soon as that comes out, you can simply just put the new one in place and then just pop it right in. All right, we have our switch installed, uh, ready to go. So now we're gonna plug everything back in. We're gonna start with the connector that was taped back, that's specifically for that switch. That'll plug right in. And then we'll work our way around to make sure that everything was plugged in that was initially unplugged. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set the center stack kind of in place. We're not gonna push it all the way back in yet because now we're gonna run uh, we're gonna do the installation procedure for the programmer, which is the OBD Genie programmer, as well as the security, gate, security gateway module bypass device. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to run the OBD Genie programmer in the 2019 and up heavy duty Ram truck. Now, in order to run the Genie programmer to enable the option that you're looking for, you also have to install temporarily a security gateway module bypass. Now this is just installs temporarily, just to allow you to program the vehicle's body control module for the specific feature you're looking to enable. Now, the security gateway module is located behind the speedometer, so I'm gonna show you guys how to get to that. It's not as hard as it sounds. Um, the whole process, including the programming and, and reassembling, takes about 15 to 20 minutes. So let's get started. You notice it gives you a little bit of room here. All we have to do now is pull on this little panel here, just enough to loosen it up a little bit. Now what we're gonna do is pull out the uh, speedometer bezel here. So what you're gonna wanna do is on the lip of the bezel here, you can put your pry tool in or a regular screwdriver, you're just gonna wanna pry down on it to release the clips. Then just pull it out. You notice it just has retaining clips. There's no screws that hold that bezel in. 
So um, on, the, on the right side of your speedometer, you're gonna have the, the little part that you popped out earlier. You don't have to disconnect this, just kind of set it off to the side. Same thing on the other side, just pop that off. Set it, set it off. Now you're gonna notice two seven millimeter screws on this instrument uh, or this um, steering column panel. So you're gonna go ahead and, and remove those two screws. I like to go ahead and put the column down a little bit, but basically you just pop this out. And then you'll notice two lower screws on the actual speedometer itself, and then two screws at the top. So go ahead and remove those four. All right, now that all of our screws are out, we can simply just pull the cluster out, flip it upside down, and just temporarily disconnect it. Behind the speedometer cluster is where the security gateway module is located. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna disconnect those two connectors that are in the side of that module. These two connectors here will simply just plug into our bypass device. We can just set it back here. We can go ahead and install our cluster. We're just gonna set the cluster back in place. We're not gonna actually screw it in. We're just gonna set it back in place. Now at this particular point, now that the security gateway module bypass is installed, now we can run our OBD Genie programmer in the OBD2 port. All we have to do is put the vehicle in the run position um, and then we can go ahead and plug it in. It takes about 30 seconds, you'll see a green light illuminate and then once um, the green light comes on, you know you're all done. All right, what we're gonna do is go ahead and put the vehicle in the run position and we'll go ahead and plug in our Genie programmer You'll see a series of lights. As soon as you get the solid green light, you can go ahead and unplug it and won't be needed anymore. All right, we now have the solid green light so we can go ahead and disconnect it. You'll also notice that your speedometer cluster and your infotainment system will reset as well. All right, guys, we went ahead and turned the truck off. Um, now all we have to do is just um, remove the um, bypass device, plug those two cables back into the security gateway module, and just reassemble everything. So as you can see, very easy to do. We've been in here for maybe 12 minutes. Um, so what we're gonna do now is just kind of put it all back. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this closeout panel in. You'll notice how it kind of has this lip here. You're gonna wanna stick that in and then pop it into place. Um, the other side is the same way where the ignition switch is. All right, now when you install the uh, speedometer bezel, you're gonna to wanna to clip in the bottom first and then slide the top back and it'll pop back into place. All 
All right, guys, we went ahead and programmed the truck for the feature with the OVD Genie tool. We buttoned up the dash um, and then we turned the vehicle off. We just fired it back up and now I'm gonna show you guys how it works. So what an awesome upgrade. Very easy to install as you can see. Um, one of the best parts about using the factory upgrade is you're gonna retain the settings not only in your infotainment system, this happens to be the low model, the UAA option code, um, you'll also see what I'm about to show you on the 8.4 inch and the 12 inch. Um, but then you'll also get the options in your cluster, your speedometer cluster as well. So if you come into settings and you go down to trailer brake, you can actually set up four different trailers for your system. So you can come into trailer one, um, you can go into your brake type, whether you have light, heavy, um, or hydraulic and um, you come in here to your the trailer name, save it as whatever you want. Then once you, let's just say you have four different trailers, it's easy just to come in, select the trailer you wanna use, and then your gain settings are all customized. They're already ready to go, so you don't have to change your gain every time. So um, that's a really cool feature. Again, that's how it works in this UAA option code radio. Um, it's a little bit different and uh, on the larger screen radios, but really cool. Um, now I'll show you down here with the actual switch. Um, you can adjust your um, manual gain by pressing this tab up and down or side to side. You can adjust the gain by pressing the plus and minus, and you'll notice on your cluster, it will change. All right, now as you press the lever side to side, you can adjust the pressure for the brake. If you want to adjust the gain, you press the plus and minus signs and you notice the gain goes up and down. Now, um, sometimes it's a little different. Like what you say, you have an enclosed trailer that's empty. Obviously your gain's gonna be a little less than if it's full. So you can change it easily by pressing the up and down sign. So just an awesome factory upgrade here at infotainment.com. As you can see, again, very easy to install and the best part, it's all 100% factory. You don't have wires laying around. You're not wiring anything to the back. Um, it just makes it for a nice, clean install. We do this factory upgrade and so much more over here at infotainment.com, not only for the late model heavy duty Ram, but we also do it for the late model Ram 1500, as well as the fourth gen Ram trucks. Uh, this just so happened to be the electronic trailer brake control. Again, for the newer trucks, we also do them for the older trucks. So be sure to come check us out again, infotainment.com. Thanks for watching.